All right, so let's take a look at um, what happens if we're trying to find the area between two z-scores and a standard normal distribution curve. So, um, so here we take off, and, and the thing to remember here is, is that, you know, we can find the area from a negative z to a positive z, from a positive to a positive, or from a negative to a negative. The big difference here is that we're, instead of just converting one z-value to a percentage, we have two z-values. And, and they will have to convert over. And then once we find those corresponding areas or those corresponding percents, we'll take those percents and we will subtract them. So our particular problem is we want to find the area between 1.62 standardized score and negative 1.35 standardized score. So we'll start off and we'll find the area for the negative 1.35. So um, on our chart here, we go negative 1.3. We come over to the 5. And it looks like we're looking at a percentage of 0.885, which would be known as 8.85%. Like I said, for me, that's just easier to work with. I, I like using the percent instead of the decimal. Same thing, get the same answer. On the positive end, we had 1.62. So we come over, we go 1.6, we go 0.2, and it looks like we're looking at a percentage of 0.9474 or 94.74%. So we come back across, um, we had the, the 1.62 turned into 94.74%. The negative 1.35 turned into 8.85%. So what does that translate to? That translates to that this 8.85%, that's that. That's 8.85% from this z-score <laughs> to the left. Whereas if I did the 1.62, that means that all of this area from, the, from that z-score all the way down is 94.74. Well, I don't want all of that. I don't want all the way down. I only want to this spot. So if I take those two numbers, I take the 94.74, those two percentages, and the 885, and I subtract them, I find out that I come out with a percentage of 85.89%. And that's the area between. So the trick for area between is that you'll take your z-scores, convert them to percentages, take those two percentages and subtract, and that will give you the area between um, under the curve.